Hi there and welcome to the UXF channel and welcome to this introduction and sort of review of this device. This is a mechanical metronome made by Smeager. Smeager listed this product on Facebook and asked if there's anybody that wanted to review it and I jumped at the chance to do so. Now for the record and for the future what I've decided is when I am sent a product to review that I don't have to put any cash down I will identify my YouTube videos from this point forward as being a paid placement. So I'm not being paid actually to make this video but this was sent to me free and when they asked me what instrument I was going to use it for here's the honest answer I am thrilled to have this to show my elementary students and I'll show you why in just a second. So I teach elementary music K through 5. I'm in my third year of doing that in the 2021 to 2022 school year, having taught six years of middle school, actually seven, including one year at the beginning of my career, and then 16 years of high school. So um, with that in mind, I do teach my students following our district curriculum map about tempo. Originally, we worry about three main ones. We worry about Adagio, which is slow. We worry about Andante, which is a walking speed. And then we worry about Allegro, which is fast. And then we sort of fill in the gaps a number of ways. And I have pulled up digital versions of this for them to see. But there is something really cool. I think back to my own piano lessons as a kid and having one of these on the piano and, and practicing with it. Now, one of the other things that I've found as a music teacher is that a lot of people struggle with a sense of rhythm. That is not me. Um, I can generally, with a tempo, stick with a tempo. I And part of that is because I'm a tuba player. So my two main instruments were not ukulele. Uh, I didn't start playing ukulele until about 2016, really. But I am a classical operatic tenor, and I am a tuba player. And in bands and orchestras, as a tuba player, I was always responsible for keeping the tempo steady. And to the point that I would actually, in, in my high school years in particular, even in college, I would be the person holding back even the percussion section from rushing. And I just, I really settled into a tempo. A lot of people can't do that. So in order to master something, they can't slow something down themselves and speed it up gradually with repetition, whereas that's something that I can do. But not everybody has that skill set. That's where a metronome of any kind can help you, but there is something really cool about these. So let me show you what it does. Now, there are wood ones of these that are beautiful works of art, much more expensive than these. Um, this is sub $30.00 and they actually do come from a number of manufacturers. Um, I have no problem going with Smeager because they are making ukulele resources and so forth. So um, while you have a number of these to choose from, I have no problem choosing this because I know that Smeager works with ukulele and of course I love ukulele. So um, what happens is you need to take off the top and the top sort of pops up and off and inside you have that little cover. I'm just gonna set this aside you have your little pendulum and your weight that changes. Now, if you notice on there, there are different um, metro markings and different Italian terms. Why Italian? Well, Italian is the universal language of music. Really, music theory was sort of codified or straightened out in Italy, also with the connection of the church and so forth. All those things are, are connected together, but Ultimately, we all use these terms. Now, if you are from other countries like the United States or Germany, sometimes you'll throw in German or sometimes you'll throw in English. But universally, we all use these Italian terms for this instrument. Now, if you notice, it's not doing anything. And that's because it ships with a little plug in here. And since I'm going to be taking this to school in the fall, I figured I'd leave that plug in there unless I need it. And what you have is a mechanical metronome. No batteries needed. And ultimately what you do is as long as it's wound up and you don't want to overwind, all right, you just unhook the pendulum and then it doesn't do anything unless you give it a little swing. And it's not quite level, so it's not going to be 
even, you want to keep it level. But as I move that pendulum up or down to the various tempos, it'll go faster or slower. Now, one other thing I want to show you that this one has is it has a little selector switch on the side. And it is going to play a certain number of um, beats. It's going to give you a bell ring on one of the beats and then a couple more. So you can have beats of two, three, four, or six. If you want to be doing a multi-beat thing, you're going to need to buy an iPad app and, and practice with that and program it or an iPhone app and do that sort of thing or Android. Right, so I've got it set right now on two beats per measure and you'll hear the ding and then a click and then a ding and a click. Here we go. Take it off and then start the one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Now, how about going to oh four so that's two three four that should be four there here we go one two three four one two three four. one two three four all right and of course you've got your three in between one two three one two three one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, and again, it depends on what tempo you want to set it. You have the beats per minute along with the Italian terms for the different beats per minute. And then when your um, twisting wears out, you just crank it back up again so there are no batteries to replace. Um, if you're moving it around, you can put in that little lock. And then you can grab the cover to keep the dust out of it and everything else and you're good to go. So that is little Smeager metronome and um, I'm very glad to have this and I know my students are all going to want to come up and start the pendulum and that's okay. Um, I like the idea of a less expensive version of this. Very practical. If you have a piano it's going to probably look pretty good on your piano regardless of the fact that it's not wood. If you have a black piano like I do I have a, a black actually weighted key, very nice digital piano. This will actually sit on top of that without any problem. And don't forget, a metronome is really an essential tool, um, not only for finding out like if a piece tells you a certain tempo that you need to do it in, but also if you're a person that struggles with keeping a steady beat, practice with a metronome. And I promise you, if you play ukulele, you'll hear this over your ukulele playing. Or if you play tuba, you'll hear it over your tuba playing. Same with piano. So again, it's not just a piano metronome. This is a mechanical black uh, metronome. It's listed for piano, but it is great for any instrument. Thanks so much for joining me on this quick review introduction of this mechanical metronome. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll be back soon with some more uke stuff for you.